Hello, this is Red Wizard 52 and this is a relaxing let's play of Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2 episode 18. And we're doing the standard campaign and I think I want to do this optional mission um, because it looks like the Eldar are attacking this Imperial Shrine. Shrines to the Emperor of Man dot the surface of many worlds and many believe are a direct conduit to the divine grace of the Golden Throne. The sanctity of these shrines is of the utmost importance and retaking them will allow for the channeling of their power to any squads deployed on the battlefield. So we're definitely going to do this. Uh, this is next up. Uh, we'll finish this uh, um, collect prime gene samples mission. But first we'll do this uh, um, some leveling. So this is cool. What's this? Flamer aptitude? Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that just yet. This might be useful, the extra accessory slot. Yeah, definitely going to do that. One, two. All right. I'll fill that in a second. Um, so then we're going to go to Tarkus. Let's see. Is this the extra accessory slot? Okay, I might do that as well. Okay. And can I get anybody else to level? I think I can. 75 for um, uh, Vlad here. Uh, how about, okay, not going to happen for um, Thaddeus. And not going to happen for Avitus. But I just need to find something um, to donate, to get some, two things to donate to get uh, Vlad's experience, uh, you know, to. Um, level 11. So we got a lot of equipment. This level 10, 50 damage, um, judgment of the Khan, 47 damage. Um, let's see here. Infantry, heavy infantry, 75% vehicles. I don't think this has any good anti-vehicle, no. But it does give um, a bonus in uh, accuracy and melee damage. So I don't know, I, th I think the Iron Fist is still uh, the best weapon to use. This is a level 7 one. Alright, what should I do? I just donated that gauntlet. Um, I had a coughing fit, so I edited that out. Uh, range Specialist. Force Commander learns to fire plasma, guns, and flamers. When performing a special attack in hand-to-hand -hand combat, strike with a fury that deals additional explosives. So we'll do that like that. Is that just like an ambient thing or do you have to act actually activate it? No, it looks like it's an ambient thing. That's cool. Oh wait, it says uh, when performing a special attack in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. So, um, heavy weapons aptitude, deadly aim. What's this? After using two victory, the force commander becomes invulnerable. I don't know what I should do. I guess... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll 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 keep a uh, stamina in line with strength. Eventually, I'm going to have to start doing some other things too. Um, for level nine bolt pistol, level ten bolt uh, pistol. Let's see, a little bit more damage. Seventeen percent chance per hit to do more damage. This garm powder and bolt pistol bears the sigils of the Imperial Inquisition. Cool. Uh, it was discovered in the Blood Raven Fortress on Cyrene Secundus, uh, near the body of a murdered Inquisitor. It has proved to be an effective weapon in spite of its dark origins. I don't think Inquisitors are dark. They're actually pretty. You know, if you read the Eisenhorn uh, stories, they're actually pretty, pretty, like they're like a, they fight for justice. I, I should have done this a long time ago. Um, organize this stuff, but, uh, you know, I didn't realize I could, to be honest. Um, so let's see, level 8, level 10, level 6, we need to just get rid of this. We're, we're, we're past that. Level 9, level 6, we're past that. Um, 8, 8, 10, 12, 
four. We're past that. Okay, nine, seven, six. We're done with that one. But this, okay. I'll move this up here. Move this here, move this there. Okay. Level 10, Dreadnought Armor. That's pretty interesting. We don't even have a Dreadnought yet. Usable by Dreadnought. We haven't got one yet. That's interesting. Um, level 5 Power Armor. Don't need that. I'm just looking at levels. I'm going to get rid of everything that's like a waste of time. A waste of space, I should say. Um, so this doesn't have a level. I guess accessories don't have levels. Well, this is interesting. Prayer of Steel. 19% knockback damage, 20% damage resistance. That's pretty cool. This is a commander item? No, it can be used by anyone. Okay, I think I'm going to replace this with that. I'll give that to somebody else. This Light of the Astronomicon. Maybe Thaddeus. Uh, because he's a melee person. Um... I might keep these oaths, unless I have like really um, crappy ones. But okay, all right. So let's see what people could um, if I could make anything better here. So Thaddeus using a level seven bolt pistol. Let's let's change over to a um, definitely a yeah. That's uh, fourteen point three damage versus eleven point five. We're gonna replace your your bolt pistol. The uh, Hellfire pistol. The oversized ammunition used in this bolt pistol means less shots per clip, but the extra damage inflicted by the Hellfire rounds makes this weapon prized among assault troops. Uh, level 10 chainsword. Should I replace this level 6 uh, power axe? 37.9 um, damage. We can. Ch oh, yeah, we're definitely going to. Um, sh should Vlad? No, Vlad's not using a chainsword. So we're going to replace this. 50 damage. Which, which one's better? This Black Rage, uh, 175, 10.5, or this um, Judgment of the Khan? Plus 10% accuracy, 65% knockback resistance, 9%. Man, I just, I don't know. Plus damage per hit to user? Ooh, that's interesting. Once in the chapters past, the Blood Ravens were thought to be descended from the Blood Angels after reports reached the Administratum that some of their number were exuding symptoms of the Black Rage. Although these reports were later found to be mistaken, the affair led uh, chapter artificers to name this change art after those very visions of death and destruction. I thought the Blood Angels and, and the Blood Ra Ravens were the same. I'm revealing my lack of Warhammer knowledge. Um, all right, we're gonna equip that. Okay. Cyrus, can you do anything better? Um, I don't know, this... What's the Roar of Truth? 25% chance to knock back enemies. You recover energy, and then... Um, improve defensive bonus while in cover. That's pretty good. This is just a lot of damage. 22. Um, it's an area of effect. Maybe we'll... I've never used a shotgun before. I'm going to give that a try. It's level 12. It just seems awesome. Yeah. In my play style, it tends to be just more, you know, attack uh, <laughs> without much of a strategy. But well, what's this? Raiment of Smoke. Plus six. This is cool. Um, plus 62 health. 5% movement speed. 22% chance per hit to recover 40 health. Be like smoke. Stealing the enemy's sight and breath, but fading to nothingness when he strikes from the lessons of Sergeant Cyrus I like that how about this one Brigandine Avant okay at level 9 we're going to use this okay now we need to get another um, uh, I haven't used this yet this remote detonation pack maybe, maybe I'll use this a large explosive charge linked to remote activation device not fully understood by the tech priest this device nonetheless triggers correctly when the correct auto uh, activation rune is depressed. I don't know. I'll try it, but 
that seems like it's really complicated. Maybe I can set some traps with that. I mean, I gotta try it at least once. And then Tarkus. Yeah, once again, we'll get a, we'll get um, experimental here. Who could I give this um, this this uh? Oh man, I should give the f um, Vlad this um, assault jump ability. Totally gonna do that. I didn't get anything that's better. I can't use this standard yet. Yeah, the standard of Typhon, which is good. But we're gonna try Vlad with this uh, um, jump hack. Okay. All right. So I oh, we gotta look do look at Av Avatus too. Um, fifty ninety two, fifty one sixty two, um, forty nine fifty five, fifty ninety two, forty nine ten, forty nine fifty five. Okay, unfortunately Thaddeus is gonna have to stay behind. So Thaddeus, Avitus. Okay. So Avitus. Um, Avatus can use these big guns. You know, these assault devastating marine squads should probably use uh, like the bigger weapons. Armature of Zeal. The second suit of power armor forged under the guidance of Chaplain Elizor. This armor is engraved with his sermon of pain. Let us feel the pain of living in a corrupt world until my zeal has cleansed it pure in his name. Another coughing fit. Um, what should I equip here? I need the demolition charge. I need one more to get the accessory slot to make uh, Avatus good. But I also want, I don't want to leave this um, airstrike behind because I really like that. We'll replace these, these flashbangs with, um, no, I said I want to try to use those this time. Um, now we're gonna just go without the the uh, airstrike, even though it's so it's really useful. But um, have just what kind of sort of armor? You have level ten mantle of holy fury. Um, increases damage for eight seconds. Okay. This is fine. How about weapons? Okay. I think I think this is the best weapon we have right now. Terror of Xenos or Argentus's Fury. They're not a I don't really use cover all that much. Okay. We're good. Let's do this. Word from the surface commander. The Eldar are moving towards a shrine dedicated to the Emperor himself. The shrine allows the blessings of the Emperor to slow the Tyranid advance. The Eldar must understand this and wish to further undermine our efforts. We cannot allow the shrine to fall into alien hands, Commander. All right, repel Eldar attackers. Sentry guns available, okay. Um. Warp spiders. Okay, so this is just one of those ones where you just have to survive. That's cool. Use them if you got short range weapons like shotguns or flamers are best to use aggressively. Use cover or special abilities to get within range and then let the enemy have it. Okay. The Eldar will suffer for this affront to the Emperor. Agreed, Thaddeus. But do not leave the generators undefended. Those are the real objective. Positioning. Is that cover or is that no? That's a wall, so they can't. Okay, you get cover there. Um, just command. Okay, we got baddies coming. You get here. Destination confirmed. Attack them. Eliminate that target. Okay, 
Let's do that one there. Okay, don't go too far up. Let's just retreat. There's no reason to like run like that. Okay, so how do I activate that thing? Okay, I really need to know how to... Okay, detonate. Okay. Awesome. That was awesome. Okay, somebody just used a melt on Melta on that. Melta on that Don't worry about it. Four corpses. Okay, okay. All right. They didn't really stand much of a chance. Look to your war gear. Target killed. That was the first wave of attacks. Okay, I haven't used this thing yet. I have to remember, Vlad has a jump pack. I gotta use that. And I mean, I was really impressed by those, uh, only a word. I forget what they're called. These planted explosives. Let's drop one of these here. I should have dropped one of those a long time ago. Another one. Here. Oh man, they got back here. Jump. Here. Oh, of course I missed them. Charge them. Here. Way now. We shoot another one. Okay, Cyrus. Well, we have time. Plant one of those there. They come that way, but we'll be able to get them. Are they coming? Charges set. And then. Oh, you can only set one at a time. All right, let they come this way. Tactical squad repositioning. Enemy combatants in the field. Come on over, guys. It's gonna be great. The chapters recruit. Yeah, that was awesome. What's this guy? Green elders. Okay, that. Jump. Okay, uh, retreat.
just needs to melt at that. I haven't used these flashbangs yet. Oh, so they're stunned, okay. Melt. Well, we won't melt to that because it's almost dead. You can jump in. Attack, though. Okay. Those three, uh... Prepare for the final assault. Okay, Cyrus. How can we serve? No, not Cyrus. Uh, yeah, Cyrus. Do one of those um, here. Planting charges. Maybe too 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 far out. Planting there. charges. Hostile movement up ahead, brothers. Oh, wrong side. Maybe it's too late. Drop one of those there. those things? Crap. Of course. Those tanks suck. Okay. Um, I need more Meltas and I don't think I have any. But okay, okay. Everybody's just sitting back. Now is a blow up. Everything else before I, I attack that, but that might be a stupid idea. Oh, crap. Cluster mine? I don't know. to get get away. Vlad, you need to jump here. Oh no, Cyrus went down. Someone needs to heal Cyrus. Right. Cyrus with an explosive shot. Lions Roar, a level 8 heavy bolter. Plus 38 health, plus 15%. Um, there's a 15% chance of uh, plus 11 damage and um, knockback on the target. Okay? 
one of the problems I have with this game is like there's so many, there, there's no method to the weapons. There's just so many different um, stats to keep tabs on. Oh man, I was so close to an extra deployment. Um, anyhow, any levels? Nope. Yeah, I'm just gonna level before the next mission. Why would the Eldar have any interest in one of our shrines? Like all the enemies of humanity, the Eldar fear the Emperor's might and seek to stem its conduits. They should try building their own shrines to the Emperor instead. Perhaps he would forgive them for being Xenos. Being a Xeno is one thing the Emperor does not forgive, Thaddeus. <laughs> With good reasons. <laughs> so racist. It's horrible. It's not like Star Trek, um, you know, where you try to understand the other uh, aliens' cultures and create federations with them and stuff. No, they're just, they're Xenos, and they're you. therefore you must destroy them. It's very dark. Um, all right, well, that was episode 18. Um, I'm not going to do anything else. I'll uh, start the next one with um, figuring what spoils of war we got. And um, I do need to go through these uh, um, these events. This is something I have not been doing. And um, there's just there's a lot going on in this game. But uh, yeah, I'll start with these events. Um, uh, with l looking through what I've missed just to kind of get a sense of the story. But um, generally speaking, it's like we have the Eldar who are, uh, you know, um, conspiring against humanity on this planet of Calderas. And we have a, a Tyranid invasion happening. And we're trying to get gene samples to kind of stop the hive. And we're also trying to find um, uh, this um, orc boss named Ripposplitta who. For some reason, he has. We finally have Ripper Splitter's uh, look. He has some information that we need, so we need some gene samples. We need an orc who has information, and we need to stop this um, Tyranid um, invasion. All right, thank you very much, and have a good day.